this girl can mm -mm. this girl can <laughs> shout out to all the ladies with the big boobs yes natural or natural i tried to get my t-shirt in but we move anyway let me just get to the video thank you for coming back to my channel and as you click so eagerly to know how to reinvent yourself let's just get to it as a mom for i know how important it is to reinvent yourself along the journey of just being a mother because a lot of the time i notice that society will have you boxed in to be that okay you're a mom now the choice you've made is to be a mom now you must just be a mom and that is just your bag and i'm just here to tell you that no there's more to life than being a mom oh did i just say that out loud yes there is more to life than just being a mom because you are your own identity first and foremost yeah so let's just do a disclaimer i'm not saying that being a mom is horrible or motherhood is horrible well the parts of motherhood that is a lot are very much challenging it's a blessing a blessing by the most high but i just want to show you girlies out there that it's important to also focus on yourself and how we are traveling through this path of balancing so many hats so for myself, as I became a qualified social worker, that reinvention started from uni, I'd say, or even when I was 20 years old, from that age when I started going to uni and figuring out who did I want to become. Because let's be honest, when you're in your teenage years, I remember, I remember being at college vis like vividly and they're asking us, okay, so options, what do you want to become? And from my background, I'm from a Jamaican heritage background and we're very much hard working people. And you've always, I've always been brought up to be, okay, what job's a job for life? The nursing jobs, um, lawyer, doctor, all those jobs where you know you're going to get a certified pension and you're good to go for the next 40 odd years and Bob's your uncle. And there's nothing wrong with that because I know there's a lot of ladies out there and men too that really find fulfillment within them job roles. And hats off to you. I love that for you. For myself, it's been a journey. And through that reinvention journey, I had to figure out who did Octavia want to become. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I'm going to tell you what I mean. So... When I first started studying, I actually was doing a social care and social policy degree. That was because I did not meet the criteria, the whole UCAS A-level points to become a social worker. And in hindsight, I can see how important it was for me not to become a social worker in my early 20s. Controversial, but as for a bit of life living, needs to be done to have such a heavy role but hats off to those young ones that are doing it and doing it well hats off to you guys so um through that i was i did become pregnant and i thought about okay i remember looking at my course um the course structure the whole layout and i'm thinking okay the outcomes what jobs can i get with this degree Cause let's be honest, I was so excited to be at uni, like, yay, uni life, yay, yay. Even though I didn't really partake in the whole, you know, going out drinking every day. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> We're never going to go scratch that. But um, point being is that there was no outcome. There wasn't like any jobs under what jobs you can get. It was very generic and yeah. So for myself, I had to reinvent my mind myself and think, okay, let's do the nursing route i remember applying for adult nurse and i was like i think about four months pregnant and i got on straight away i was so happy so excited and i was ready for this change for becoming something that would change my life and my firstborn's life so i remember going through that process and my head was set on, yeah, I'm going to become a nurse and I actually wanted to do midwifery. So I'm thinking, yeah, do three years of adult nursing, do an extra 18 months of um, midwifery and I've got it. <sighs> I did not get it. <laughs> and that's the thing about reinventing yourself. You have to be honest with yourself in terms of, is this for me? And if it doesn't serve a purpose no longer, then 
don't be afraid to change. Don't just change on a, on a whim, but obviously really reevaluate the reason why you feel that you need to, you want to change this aspect of your life. So I did, and I managed to get to my first year of doing placement and second year, I was just like, it's not for me. So, oh, I say all that to say that through my journey, it hasn't been that very narrow. I've had children young and I've always studied alongside that. And I know that at this point now where I actually have become a social worker, <laughs> such through a very, you know, different path that led me to here. Guess what? I'm no longer practicing as a social worker because I felt that it didn't meet my needs in terms of, I just, it, it wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't fulfilling myself within my just just in terms of i like to work one-on-one -on -one with my young people with people and really getting the understanding of their life experience and, and incorporating just support and really being that that change for that person that advocate for that person and i felt that it became very too much kpi it was having a lot an impact on my house so i thought this is not for me, but who's to say that these skills that I want to have and still want to incorporate with other people can't be done in a different way. And that's where I began that reinvention process of becoming, of starting my own business of coaching in self-development for women. And it's very funny because if I'd look back, if I'd thought about, if I thought of oh, becoming a self-employed you know, a woman, it's very, it's, it, even saying it now, I don't know why it makes me feel like, oh, because there's no one in my immediate family that's, that's self-employed very much in a job and working. But I feel that in this life that we have one to live, you have to be, you have to be daring and courageous to go for what really sits inside. And I know that, I know there's a book, um, I forgot what it's called. I might set the picture in here, but it talks about not going for your passion, but, but going for your skills. When you're going for a job or pursuing life as a career, pursuing a career job or pursuing something of interest is important to harness your skills that you're good at and through that journey you'll find what you are supposed to do so i feel that that's been my journey i know that i enjoy advocating for people that need my support that are vulnerable and i feel that through my journey of understanding and learning people's behaviors this was definitely a no-brainer a no-brainer for me so um what did this look like for me when i've had to reinvent myself what does the process look like what did it look like for me so i know that i speak i will speak heavily about my uni my study journey because that's something that's really been a intense journey for myself so far and i know that in terms of achieving my degrees, yes, the girls got two, yeah. <laughs> I'm forever singing that. Those that know me know I love to say, yep, yeah, I got my two degrees. Yeah, um, yeah, I had to be very intentional with my time and being a mom, so shout out to those moms that are studying and, you know, balancing motherhood, balancing yourself, your partner, family, all of those balancing hats, shout out to you, because I've been there, I've done it, and it is difficult, but I knew for myself that I had to put my blinkers on in terms of making sure that I managed my time. Time management was number, numero, numero one, that had to be done for me in terms of creating a study schedule, ensuring that I know the, the, the times that the kids go to nursery, that within those time slots, I'm really intentional of my time of studying and um, just ensuring that the kids needs are being met consistently. It just was very much balancing student versus motherhood. It was just that and in between, I just had to make it work for myself. It, and when I look back on it now, 
would I have changed any steps there? I don't think I would because it was important for me to really just put myself out there and be intentional because I know that I'm very much of that person that whereby I don't like excuses, not for other people, but for myself because it's choices that I've made. I've where I, want, where I am today is ultimately by the choices that I have made in my life. So I can't be then upset that, okay, I can't do it, I can't do it. But at the same time, if I know that I am eligible for something, the girl is going to get it by any means how. Yes, so I'm dyslexic, so I make sure I am getting that support hands on without a doubt. But everything else that I can control and that I can manage, gotta unlock. So through reinventing myself, just to go on still, I found that you learn a lot about yourself you do learn you learn what your likes and dislikes are because let's be honest for you to even think about how i want to change something significant in my life is because you've you've got to the point of i'm just sick of my own mm, that's it so i feel with that understanding of learning of yourself you channel how to create the the version that you want to live with the version that you you get excited waking up to just thinking about them and you become Think about my reinvented reinvention periods of my life i find that i did sacrifice a lot in terms of my time with the children and it, uh, mom guilt's a heavy one because i feel like you're always gonna have a mom guilt there's you're always going to feel that you could have improved better in this place or you could have been more present here. But I have to always think of the future. And not to say that I'm not living presently, but just think of what's the benefits? The benefits? <laughs> the, what are the benefits? What is outweighing the, the negatives? And that was the fact that their mother is going to be of a educational standpoint. And that's going to improve their life and my life because I refuse to be a statistic. Hello. Do you know what I mean? And I've just, I just love study. I love, I've always loved reading. I'm very inquisitive about just learning more and acquiring more knowledge. So why not? So yeah, you do take sacrifices, but obviously only you know what the sacrifices you're willing to take for this reinvention. And let's be honest, don't make that don't let sacrifice throw you off because at the end of the day, it's going to be at the benefit of everyone around you. And if those, if, if people feel a way that, oh, you just, you brand new. And what? Like, every, life is fruit. Life is about seasons, yeah? Life is about changing. Life is about evolving. We are not put on this earth to be the same person year in year out and it's so funny i remember being on instagram one time and seeing a reel that um was from eddie murphy he was on set i think it was very old 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 video and it was basically him saying that we go through say 60 summers this much amount of seasons and it made me really reflect on our time on this earth please don't let your fears don't let the naysayers throw you off of your reinvention because you are worth it. No one had told you that you're worth it. Of reinventing yourself, I feel like I find that you add in skills to your toolbox, to that mental toolbox. What how, how you change, you're adapting yourself. So you're growing resilience, you're understanding your self-worth more, you're throwing it, you're putting in boundaries for yourself. All these things are very much necessary for you to become the person you have always destined to, be, to become. And I just wanted to literally finish this video on three tips on how...